ready guys. Tuesday, the 6th of October. Just headed back from work, ready to get my gym night started. So, hope you enjoy this video. For my earlier subscribers, there was a time where I used to wake up at 4.30 in the morning to be at the gym at 5 a.m. Training six days a week. <laughs> that was an amazing time. And the motivation I used to wake up with training at that early was crazy. I used to wake up, take pre-workout, be in the gym at five, and I'd be out of there by seven. And looking back now, it, that's almost a year ago since I started doing that. So the weather's getting warm back out here in Sydney, Australia now. And it's not a bad option, but you know, I've changed over to more of a night training. So right now, it's currently 8.20 p.m. and really looking forward to getting back you know, into the training. So I've been back from overseas for about a month now and things are going really well. So my weight's stabilized, eating quite a bit and feeling, getting my strength back. That's something important to me and something that I've been working on. So tonight I'm gonna head into the gym and start hitting my deadlifts. Now, uh, something I haven't done, I've had one session of deadlifts back from overseas. Everything else seems to be coming up, so it's time I start really getting back into the deadlifts and start working on building that strength again. So, I'm gonna take you guys into the gym, start taking you through some of my workouts, had a little bit to eat before, and ready to get back into it. So, looking all nice and uh, solid, but we got a long way to go to my show, so, it's gonna be an incredible journey and I can't wait to take you guys with me, but let's head over to the gym and let's get a great workout started. One thing I was afraid about the most when traveling was losing my strength. Everyone was telling me, you're gonna have to you know, spend months back in the gym trying to rebuild that strength. And it's taken me you know, a good couple weeks and I feel like it slowly actually started to come back much quicker. So my bench press and my deadlift and my squat are almost back where they were. And it's probably been about a month that I've been back. So three weeks to a month. And I'm really happy with my progress so far. So with my programming, I've started with just a typical bro split. So my coach is setting me a new training routine this week, which I will be starting next week. And I'll take you guys through it. So today was my back session. Decided to hit the deadlifts pretty hard, trying to bring that back up. And, you know, definitely feeling a lot stronger. Didn't use a belt either. So gonna be doing a lot of beltless work. So I thought I'd just take you quickly through my back routine for the day and I will take you through my new routines coming up next week. One thing that's really changed since I came back from overseas is my appetite. So, I don't know if you guys remember, but I mentioned in my last video how my appetite has significantly changed since coming back from overseas. So, before I actually left for overseas, I was always hungry just constantly thinking about food and I think going overseas really got it out of me I feel like I ate my way through Europe and now I've come back to more of a relaxed mentality for food so here's a little tip for you guys out there who have come off diets or you know just finding it hard to get your mind off just thinking about the next meal I say this guys take a break have some time away from the tracking of the calories and the tracking of the macros because it, although it is a good t technique, there's many techniques out there for dieting and tracking your calories and food and whatever, but I'm telling you guys, you'll get stuck in a vicious cycle mentally and it's very hard to pull away. So you'll see a lot of people who are trying to, you know, move into more intuitive eating. I'm not saying that's the route to go. I'm not saying it's a bad one. I'm just saying, Give yourself a rest from that routine and give yourself some time to reset from that because you can get, like I said, you can get stuck in a vicious cycle and you know, this is supposed to be fun and it's supposed to be something you enjoy. So if it starts to become, you know, more like a chore and it's time to pull away a little bit, 
reset your, you know, your mentality and then come back and get back and kill it. All right, just finished getting down my dinner. Not too flash, something really simple. I'll start making some more cooking videos and stuff for you guys. Mainly on weekends when I get a chance, I'll do some more full day of eating videos, especially now that I've got infinity calories so I can put some stuff together. But, oh, excuse me. <laughs> but I'll show you guys some of my meals that come up. I'll show you, like, I've recently reshuffled my room around, so everything looks a little different. Got a new cupboard, more clothes, bought a lot of clothes from overseas, obviously, so needed the room. So there's my little supplement corner. About to take a scoop now of Jet Mass, Ooh, which I use as my creatine supplement. So that's it, guys. That was my session. Hope you liked my little talk to you guys about Keeping things on routine, but always remembering to take a break. Remember guys, you want to do this long term and you don't want to burn out. It's always good to have a rest. It's always good to have a break from things. And when you come back, you become bigger and stronger. So that's my little message to you guys. Thank you for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one.